What's going on YouTube family and friends? Welcome back to the Making Easy Money YouTube channel where our main focus and goal is to make money in the stock market. And what we came to talk about here in today's video is PLTR and what to expect from the stock here this quarter. Also, we're gonna talk about QUBT as well as QBTS. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, can you please do me one huge favor and smash that like button. It really does help the channel grow. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, um, once we get 100 likes on a video, we will start back doing daily videos. So with that being said, let's dive right in. First stock we're gonna talk about here in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, is QUBT. And if you're currently holding this stock, can you please let me know in the comment section below by commenting the words steel holding. Now, what we're looking at here, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys can see here, we did, let's pull up that mid here. As you guys can see here, we're challenging that upper here on the day chart for QUBT. But once things open up here for the trading day, we're going to break that upper. If we take a brief look and just check out the 15 minute chart, that bounce along the mid here looks very, very healthy, which is pointing to a uptick here when market open. If we take a brief look and check out Q bts here really quickly um let's get this out the way um qbts as you all know we do have a alert set out on this thing we do have a 14 dollars price target here for qbts which i do feel will be reached and breached here early next week but if we take a brief look and just check out the day chart here on qbts challenged that upper here yesterday rejection here um solid close if you ask me sideways as you guys can see here but with that boom in volume here yesterday ladies and gentlemen we do want to see that continue if we take a brief look and just check out that short sell analysis coming off of these last three days of trading here starting with tuesday as you guys can see here this is what you call stack short positions and if we go back to q u b t as you guys can see here um very back and forth um short selling short sale ratios but as you guys can see here very very aggressive here coming off of wednesday of that 17.52 percent that is extremely high ladies and gentlemen i don't know if you understand or not but anytime that you see a short sale ratio above eight percent that is what you consider an aggressive short selling day and see that we actually broke 16 hitting that 17.52 here on wednesday um, and seeing as though that that 1405 and going to this capital trend here from uh, this is uh, Wednesday, as you guys can see here, not a huge inflow in favorment here yesterday. Um, but in comparison to Wednesday, it is. But overall, not so much. Only 1.38 million in net inflow in favorment here on QUBT. Um, the Likelihood of a short cover taking place here in QUBT, ladies and gentlemen, is likely here at the market open. As you all know, um, reporting its Q1 profit should and it could benefit QBTS's price price action here today i do feel as though that we're going to see a warm up here in the quantum computing sector here ladies and gentlemen finishing off the month of may heading into june i do see qubt actually crossing those 13 dollar levels in the midst of that as well now, for all you Palantir shareholders out there, don't forget to comment the ticker symbol in the comment section below. As you all know, Palantir is my favorite stock here on the market, and I have a $170 price target, which I do feel as though is going to be reached and breached by the end of June, ladies and gentlemen. If we take a brief look and check out our day chart, as you all know, we did get a earnings report here back on the 5th of May. Now, it seems as though that we may entered a post 
earnings rally. Yes, I said it, ladies and gentlemen, a post earnings rally, um, something that Palantir tends to actually do quite often. The past, well, um, the last earnings report, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys can see here, that's not exactly what happened, but three consecutive quarters prior to that, we did actually get those post-market earnings rally. And I do feel as though that that is what's in store for PLTR this quarter. Um, I do see the stock actually getting, um, as you all know, with the huge government funding cuts, a company like Palantir is going to benefit from that is because they are cutting the stone age um, technology, basically. They're leaning more towards a AI based security system and technology and defense um, weapons, ladies and gentlemen. And far as um, spending a lot of money on, should I say, worthless patrols and stuff like that, they are cutting that type of spending. They're not cutting, um, should I say, vital um vital tools to defense and palantir holds one of those ladies and gentlemen in fact palantir is the leader when it comes to border control for the usa not only that we're seeing palantir actually um reconstruct government contracts that was established in the past and those reconstructions of those contracts is landing bigger revenues so with that being said ladies and gentlemen i am very excited to the upcoming earnings report here for pltr because we're seeing very very strategic corporate actions being made so with that being said if you haven't already don't forget to consider joining our discord server the sign up link will be pinned in the comment section below and may the games be with you